Hello, I'm Amelia, and today I'll show you how to install a wall-mounted WC, the Solido All-in-One, which includes all of the required elements. But let's start from the top. I enlisted the support of a true professional for the installation, our grower expert, Sasha. First, let's check what's in the box besides the WC bowl. Of course, it doesn't hurt to have a look at the enclosed installation manual or the installation video. You need the following tools for the installation. First of all, pre-assemble the frame. You'll need these bolts and the corresponding washers. Simply insert the upright bars into the frame and fix them with the supplied bolts. Now attach the lower part of the frame to the upright bars. Let's assemble the cistern next. First, snap in the fixing mounts on the sides. One on the left, one on the right. Next, attach the flush pipe. Now position the cistern so the flush pipe can snap in. Let it audibly snap in at the top and on the sides. And finally, affix it with bolts. The only thing missing now are the feet. Snap them in place. Perfect! You can now mount the wall bracket to attach the frame to the wall. To do this, screw the nuts and washers in this order on the threaded rods. Then insert the prepared rods in the frame and tighten. Then push the wall brackets onto the grooved end of the threaded rods and adjust and align them to match the planned installation depth. Observe these distances to the wall which depend on the pipe diameter that you use for the outlet in the end. Now let's adjust the frame's height. It can be adjusted in height by up to 200 millimeters. However, it should not be pulled out all the way. Orient yourself by the so-called meter mark, which is located one meter above the finished flooring. This ensures that the WC is positioned properly after installation. Of course, you can adjust the height of the bowl. However, always take the bowl's dimensions into account. Now align the frame using the spirit level and fix the height using the nuts on the feet. Then set the correct distance to the wall using a folding ruler. Use the centre of the outlet pipe to measure the position of the frame. If the distances have been determined and the one metre mark has been aligned above the finished floor, mark the drill holes. The wall bracket can be flexibly adjusted as required, ideally within the element. Now you can drill four holes using a 10 mm drill and hammer the wall plugs into the holes. Next, fix the frame to the floor and the wall. Done! Now you only have to adjust the wall brackets using the spirit level so that the frame is exactly vertical. Looking good! Tighten the nuts and fit the plastic clips directly in front of the bracket as a locking mechanism. You've mounted the frame to the wall and floor, so now the system can be connected to the water supply. You no longer need the transport bracket for the drain valve. Now install the angle valve and fix it from the front using the blue plastic nut. Pay attention to the alignment here. By the way, the water should always be connected by a specialist. Once the water is connected, screw the flexible hose onto the angle valve. 
you should now flush the system to ensure that no debris can get into the filling valve. After flushing, shut the angle valve and attach the flexible hose to the filling valve. Next, install the outlet bend and fix it using the outlet clamp. The wastewater can then be connected. Now insert the orange installation plugs and screw in the retaining rods at a distance of 180 mm. Push the protective covers on here too. And finally install the inspection shaft for the flush plate. It's included in the packaging. Done! Now let's check that we've dealt with all the important aspects. Afterwards, the frame has to be covered to the bare wall protection with zero tolerance. Now that the unit has been covered, let's finish up the installation. You can remove the bare wall protection now to install the WC. Before mounting the WC, the retaining rods are screwed in or out to the required length. To do this, measure the WC's wall thickness and add 15 to 18 millimeters to this. First, the flush pipe and the outlet pipe have to be fitted between the wall and the cistern. After the pipes have been completely inserted, the depth dimension is calculated. To do this, mark the pipes where they enter the tiles. In the next step, the pipes are fitted into the bowl. Mark the pipes here as well to calculate the cutoff point. Now saw the pipes and create a bevel by filing them at a 45 degree angle. The pipes can then be inserted. You can attach the noise protection mat now. Just slip it over the pipes and rods. Next, push the bowl over the rods and fix it. Check with the spirit level that everything is properly aligned and tighten. Now the bowl can be sealed with silicon and the lid can be attached. To do this, attach the silicon pad on the anchors and insert them in the holes. Pull them up to lock the bolts and screw them in hand tight. For the alignment, only stick the lid on the anchors halfway at first. Find the proper position and then tighten the bolts. Take the lid off again and attach the face plates. Now allow the lid to snap in completely. Moving along, cut the inspection shaft completely flush with the wall so that the flush plate does not protrude over the edge of the tiles later on. Now install the mounting bracket. Use a spirit level for positioning and then fix it with the screws. Turn on the angle valve. Last but not least, connect the drain valve hose to the flush plate. Insert the plate on the bottom of the frame and let it snap in. Now you can test your Solido all-in-one and check for leaks. And that's it! Great job!